everybody. Welcome to Get Real with Andy. Today, I want to talk about something personal. It has to do with therapy. But the other day, I was sitting and reflecting. When I was a kid, my parents never asked me how my day was. They never asked me, what did you do in school today? And I guess I just thought that was normal. And then also, I was reflecting on how they weren't really very affectionate either. Touching was minimal. So there wasn't much contact, like heart-to-heart -heart contact. They were there as providers and caregivers and that kind of a thing. And as much as I have understood that at an adult level, I realized yesterday that in a lot of ways, I'm still that contact-hungry little boy who wants guidance and affection. I've navigated my life by that compass, seeking out guidance and nurturing and touch. And I finally got to take a look at it, not just from an adult point of view, but from an adult point of view, seeing how it affected the kid part of me. And that kid part is was somehow still in my parents' world I have felt like an outsider, not quite worthy of these good things that I know are available. And I actually got kind of pissed. And I started telling my parents off in private, you know, not in a harsh way, but in a way as a champion for that child. And it helped me connect the adult and the child parts of me in a way that was so sweet for me. Because my values as an adult person have been forged by what I didn't get as much as from what I did get. I think I did a better job or I was more available to my daughter as a father. I offered guidance and I certainly loved on her and hugged on her. And so it, the whole thing, I got to come full circle. And I got to really reflect on how much I've done this for other people in therapy. And yet it was only yesterday that I really took another step in that process for myself. Hey, I'm 73 years old. And, you know, other people have asked me in therapy, you know, how many times do I have to go over these things? And I think it just thinks these, these things do just come around and goes a little deeper each time. The point isn't to re-suffer it, the point isn't to re-traumatize. The point is to heal it deeper and deeper, to be more unified within, to be more on the same team with my own needs, my own kid parts. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that. So if you're in process and you find yourself thinking, man, why is this happening again? It just happens until, until you're done. There's a certain point of critical mass where things recede primarily into the past. But if it comes around, that means you're not finished yet. So go for completion. Go for that finality. That's my intent. And anyway, that kind of finality only opens the door for a, a new way to relate to the present. Not so much as a child beggar, but as an adult beggar, if you know what I mean. As an adult who really knows what I need and what I want and is able to ask for it and open to it and receive it. It's, it's a subtle thing. I've seen therapists fudge this. I've seen myself fumble around with it, even with my clients. But it is really important to get these things in order. And a lot of times for things to be put in order, that inner landscape of parts needs to be disassembled so that I can finally see the components and let them come together in a way that just works better for me in my life now. All right. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. Thank you.